today's podcast, I want to talk about feeling lonely in love, which is very, very common. People don't talk about it, but it's very common. You would think that love would fill rather than diminish an emotional need, but many people feel loneliness in love. It never manifests at the beginning of a relationship, but only surfaces in time. And simply because we love another person does not mean they are with us emotionally. The truth is that countless people have lonely lives within a relationship. If we have come from a lonely childhood, we are used to this treatment. Even though it is dysfunctional, we have accepted it subconsciously as normal. Having learned to provide for our own needs, we are already skilled in self-nurturing. If we are living with an island personality, we will revert to feeding ourselves. And while this is a useful response, it keeps us lonely. People can sit in a room and say nothing and yet feel connected. Sadly, they can also sit in the same space and feel light years away. Being alone is not the same as feeling lonely. Being alone can be a rewarding and recharging kind of experience. Feeling lonely has few positive qualities. If we feel this loneliness, it may be because of our normal sense of loneliness originating from our earlier life, or it may be because the per other person is not available emotionally. When we are with someone as a partner, family or friend, there is an invisible line of connection. In fulfilling relationships, the line is always switched on. I've spoken about this earlier. We are connected whether we are together in space or time. When we are with the disconnected person, the switch goes off and on. And when they're not switched on, we may have company and when they're switched off, we don't. Not everyone remains connected to others and because we operate in that fashion does not mean they do. The disconnection is why we feel as if they are missing, even though they are in the same room. I refer to it as being in the cave. We all need to be in the cave at times. We're not necessarily disconnected completely. Children from dysfunctional families know how to live connected and disconnected. It is a way to survive and cope, given their circumstance. They can grow into individuals who dissociate from the world without realising what they do. Detaching from reality becomes a way to deal with their stress. Love is not meant to feel as if we are living in an emotional desert. Being in a relationship requires time and effort and people can be very lazy when it comes to working on their relationships. Some develop into selfish personalities only connect for their own gratification and selfishness underpins much of this behaviour. Be that as it may, we must tackle the problem. Love between people is a two-way journey. It needs to be give and take. We need to speak to the person concerned and explain how we're feeling talking to them about the lack of connection and our loneliness. Furthermore, we can discuss ways to be apart yet connect emotionally. Many times people aren't aware of their actions until we speak to them. Don't continue to be lonely. Seek understanding and find solutions. Love is meant to be shared. It is not supposed to be a lonely place to live. Many people are lonely. They're circumstantial lonely. For example, I've been widowed. So yes, it's a bit lonely now. Actually, it's really lonely. Um, you can be lonely because you live alone, perhaps didn't want to. You can be lonely because you aren't near your family or friends. You can be lonely at work because you feel different. The feeling of loneliness can be within you and also within a relationship. To fix up the within you one, you have to work at focusing on the connections you do have, whether it be your faith or your connections spiritually, the people you do actually connect to, connections to things that you love, places that you love, things you love to do. And these things will stop you feeling so lonely. If you focus all the time on feeling lonely, you will be quite lonely. You also have to reach out to other people, which is hard to do actually when you feel really alone. And when you feel very, very alone, I don't think it's possible. You have to wait until you thaw out a bit and come back to the real world but I think you do need to reach out to other people. Loneliness can be self-inflicted or just circumstantial. Make sure that if yours is either that you still reach out to other people. Ring them, arrange to meet somebody, talk to somebody when you're out, make sure that you are connecting with people because just that little bit of connection will help with the feeling of loneliness. As I've mentioned we can come from childhoods where we felt lonely maybe our parents were distant it could be divorce it could be illness we could have parents who were actually not present 
emotionally for us or neglectful. And so we come in with that already and we need to feed our heart. The way to feed your heart is to fill it up with love. Every night I do this, I bring love into my heart. I send love out and I bring love in because the more love I have in my heart, the less lonely I will actually feel. So you need to fill up your heart with love in any way that you can do it. I usually see love just coming in from the outside into my heart and filling up my heart with love. I fill up my whole body actually with love. I also try to love myself more and be more loving to myself and nurturing toward myself. And this in fact then extends out to other people. Giving love and sending love to others will also make you feel less lonely. Some people like to do charity work and you could think of doing that. But every act of kindness, in that kindness there is no loneliness. When you're doing something for somebody else, there is no loneliness. So that's also a good thing to always every day try and do something kind or good for somebody else. Say something nice to them, perhaps compliment them, do something, prepare something, cook food, do special food. All these things make us feel that we are in a place of love. And when we are in a place of love, we feel less lonely. Of course, there are tragedies for people and traumas. I would say being widowed, losing a a spouse, maybe losing your parents, family, friends, and the worst of all, I think losing a child, adult or small, it creates a vacuum, a hole in your heart, which you need to continue to try and heal and fill up. And this kind of loneliness is more of a pining for them and pining for the old life. So you have to try and fill up the life you have and keep them with you and walk with them by your side. But at the same time, fill up your life here with the beauty and the love. When you feel lonely, don't think you're un- it's an unusual thing. Most people never speak about it. They never say they're lonely, but they are. And some people don't really know how to not be lonely. It's like they feel they have to suffer in loneliness, which you don't. But I feel that if you try to reach out to others, fill yourself up with love, be a more loving, kind person to other people, the loneliness will subside to a degree. And when it does come in, acknowledge it and then let it go and fill yourself up with love. It's a very unspoken problem down here people don't speak about it everyone just sort of gets on with it and soldiers on and everything but I think it's really quite big and I sometimes look at people and I can sort of pick up there's a lonely heart there so when you are with someone and you feel there's a lonely heart listen to them when they speak give them your full attention fill up their heart with love because you know you might be the only person they speak to for three days you don't know that So it's important that if you recognise it in others that you actually help to fill their heart and make them feel better. And in doing that, you will actually fill up your own heart. Enjoy your week and I hope that you have enjoyed this podcast. I've enjoyed talking about this part because of course um, I'm actually experiencing it right now. But in time, even for me, it will get better. Enjoy your week. Love to you all.